Hey, this is Dave Basulto. Today we're going to take some vector art and uh, import it into Cinema 4D to make some really, really cool 3D objects. Uh, let's say a client um, has a, a logo design and wants you to uh, make it into a 3D object and animate it and add lights and all the bells and whistles. Well, you'll be able to do that now. What I have up on the screen right now is um, a sample vector package from a really cool uh, company called GoMedia.us is their website, GoMedia.us. And uh, they have some amazing vector, uh, royalty-free vector images um, and also some motion graphics and some other cool stuff. Uh, but their vector packs are tremendous um, to use for a million things I can think of. Uh, it's called the Arsenal. I was checking out uh, some of the stuff I had uh, in one of my files from SIGGRAPH this last year, and they had, I picked up one of their uh, flyers. And I was like, wow, I really I want to check them out. They have some killer graphics. And, I mean, these graphics can be used for T-shirts and you name it, any kind of like Photoshop or Illustrator kind of stuff. And uh, I'm going to bring it into Cinema 4D and make something really fun and cool. So... Uh, when you download, go to their site, uh, gomedia.us slash vector packs, I think it is, um, up, actually up here. And they'll have a, a sample vector package, and this is what you get, a bunch of different images, architecture, skulls, blood, actually spray or blood, whatever you want. Uh, some, you know, really cool shapes, sexy women, you know, uh, tribal things. So I thought, let's let's take one of these and bring it into Cinema 4D and make uh, a really nice object out of it. So... Let's get out of this. Um, actually, I'm going to leave this alone. It doesn't need to be closed. I'm going to open up Illustrator, and I'm in Illustrator CS3, as you can see. Here's my uh, vector sample.eps, and I'm going to click that up. I have to find it again. I moved it. I forgot. So I'm going to go File and Open, and I moved it in my work files, I believe. Vector samples. There it is. The, the desktop was getting a little crowded. It's going to ask me for an update because uh, it was done in a previous uh, version of Illustrator. I'm just going to click yes. And here is my vector samples. Let me just resize this for us so you can see a little better. And there we go. And I really thought this uh, banner would be had a lot of potential to do some cool stuff with it. So what I do is select it. And then I'm going to go to the top here and go to Edit and Copy. Of course, you can use uh, Command C, Command V, etc. Um, go to File. I'm going to do a new file. I'm just going to call this. Um, I'm going to call this a Vector. And because uh, I'm not, I can't think of anything creative right now. And here we have our new clean vector file, our, our document. And I'm going to just, I'm sorry, I'm going to click paste or command V and here it is inside our image and I'm going to hit the shift key and I'm going to drag it just to make it a little bigger uh, doesn't really have to be because we can resize it in Cinema 4D but thought it'd be nice so we could see it so there's our uh, our logo for our company the star company cool stuff so now I'm going to go to file and I'm going to uh, save as, and we're going to call it Vector AI. I'm going to save it on the desktop, and uh, that's it. Click save. I'll keep all the parameters the way they were. I'm going to, uh, I'm sorry, going to show all, I'm going to hide Illustrator. Now we're going to go into Photoshop CS3, and I'm going to. Uh, going to open and here's my vector AI file I'm going to open that and it's importing and there it is I'm just going to say that's the one I want just bring this over and just keep everything the default and click OK here's my uh, really cool vector art in Photoshop now let me drag this uh, over here, this actually wrong one. Let the uh, drag my paths over here. Okay, so now I've got um, 
my art in here. I've got my layers and paths channel. I'm going to hit the command key and click on. I'm sorry. Let's go to my layers. Command key, click. I've just selected, uh, made my graphic a selection. And from that, I'm going to go into my paths. And I'm going to make this. Let me just drag this over a little more for you. Going to make this a work path. I'm going to do one pixel tolerance. Click OK. I have work path saved. I'm going to go up to File. I'm going to go to Export Paths to Illustrator. And we're going to call it uh, Vector and do underscore paths. You can name it whatever you want. You can keep it the same because it's going to make a different kind of AI file. Uh, so let's click, let's make a paths file, work path. Let's click save. It's now on the desktop and uh, we're going to hide Photoshop, but we're pretty much done with Photoshop. I'm actually going to lower this preview uh, while I'm here. Let's just hide that. So let's open the Mighty Cinema 4D and there we have it. So in Cinema 4D, let me just drag this uh, schmidgen. We go to File. And I'm going to go uh, open, vector paths, click open, zoom in a little bit, and just, uh, just move this a little tiny bit so we can see it better. And there you see we have our file now inside Cinema 4D. All I have to do is click render and, oh, I guess I don't have to click render. Actually, you know, you, we don't. Um, over here in the vector paths, as I click this uh, plus sign here to expand it, you'll see all of our paths. The reason that you can't see anything yet is this is nothing. It's just a vector paths uh, file from Illustrator um, work path. We've got to put it into some type of a NURB, uh, extrude NURB, to make it uh, three-dimensional. So next what I have to do is grab my path. I'm going to go the first one, then I'm going to the last one, hit shift key. I've got them all selected. Uh, if you have the mighty mouse on the Mac and you've configured it, you can just right click uh, or also you can also command click. Um, I'm sorry, not command click, uh, control click to get the right click going. And then scroll down, you'll see a thing that says connect because we want to connect all those paths to make a new, a new item. And there we go. And this is called path one but I'm going to call it logo. And there's our logo. So we don't need this anymore. Uh, but we'll leave it alone right now. Let me just... Uh, everything's good. We've got this great solid logo going now. If I render it again, nothing's there. So let's add an extrude NURB. Go up here into your NURBs, hyper NURBs. Oops, I don't want the hyper NURB. I want the extrude NURB. Hold it down. Go to the right, it says Extrude NURBS. Let's bring that in. Grab the logo. Drag it up until you see a uh, the arrow going down, which means it's going to be a child of the Extrude NURBS. Let go. There it is, three-dimensional. Let's click uh, the render, and there you have it. Your vector art from Illustrator uh, brought into Cinema 4D. It is now a three-dimensional object that you can animate. Uh, you can do pretty much anything you want with it. Uh, there's so many possibilities. Let's just really quickly, um, uh, and this is a whole different tutorial, but I just uh, want to make it look a little more fun. So I'm just going to add a floor and uh, let's bring the floor down just a little bit. And um, let's add a light. Bring the light up so we get some color going on here. And uh, let's bring an, uh, nope, sorry. Let's bring an instance of the light. Some more light. Bring it over here. And um, click my light really quick. This is uh, way more. You can turn the tutorial off if you're bored. <laughs> but I wanted to. Uh, to show you that you can do some fun stuff with it. So let's do some shadows and let's just click the render. And uh, nothing's going on. Did I hit not have, uh, let's see, default light visible and render default. Let's try that again. 
There we go. So there is our logo with a little shadow going on. The lights aren't really placed right, but you know, let's um, let's add a material to it now. Let's go to file. Let's add a shader. Uh, let's add a banji, and we'll add the banji right there. And um, let's hit that. Now you got this really cool glass logo uh, that we can just do so much to. It's an award that we give to somebody or the star award. You can inscribe things here if you'd like. It's endless. Anyhow, I'm Dave Basulto, and I wanted to show you how to bring in a vector image into Cinema 4D uh, to make it a 3D object. I hope you enjoyed this, and take care.